hello and welcome again to this video with jobs.ac.uk following my PhD journey. It has been like three months ago since the last video we made and I'm happily resuming and giving you updates about my PhD journey. Today it's a sunny day, very rare sunny day of Berlin. We are almost February and I prefer that we take the camera outside and talk to you because we are missing the sun that much. This last three months had um, a lot of work and a lot of effort to my PhD. Actually, through this three months we have the Christmas holiday and it was uh, such a huge break for us from working. But after coming back we had to enforce ourselves to work again and to back to the track. One of the most important events happened the last three months was our annual doctoral colloquium and in this colloquium we have some students from all over the world and we discuss some things about our uh, PhD uh, topics and programs. Actually it was very helpful and it helped me too much to feel that I am on the track in the right direction. In this couple of months I have a lot of things to do related to my research and some activities I have to attend or do. I have a couple of conferences, I have this uh, gathering for Egyptian students in Bonn for DAD scholarship holders, it will be in February. And I have to submit a research paper to one of the most important conferences in my topic. So I have to deliver the abstract uh, before the deadline, which will be the 1st of March. I'll keep you updated about all of that. Hello, it's 5.30 in the morning and... Now I have to leave to the train station Berlin Hauptbahnhof to catch my train to Bonn. I'm traveling today to Bonn to attend the scholarship um, meeting and gathering for the Egyptian PhD scholarship holders from the DAD. Actually we will have some meeting with um, DAD representatives and some Egyptian government representatives so if we have or face any troubles we will be able to discuss that with them. This is not such scientific uh, uh, conference we just attending some kind of regulation uh, 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 lectures and also we will have some kind of intercultural training so i'll give you some feedback after i come back from bonn it's almost one degree outside so i'm somehow prepared wish me luck and see you after coming back <laughs> Hi again. So since I came from Bonn, I was thinking to provide you with the feedback for my trip. Actually, this conference was some kind of a special thing. It's not that scientific one. It was something uh, with the regulations of our scholarship. We had to meet our colleagues. And it was very good to exchange some of our experience to deal with the whole thing, how to organize your life, how can you deal with this kind of uh, 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 paper work, paper flow and uh, scholarship renew. It was very stressful that the last nine months I spent really reading hundreds of papers. This stage I call the literature review stage and the problem here that you don't get a concrete output that you can say okay I finished this phrase of my research. I realized that I had barely like 200 resources between a book, a, a journal article or a conference proceeding I already read or just skimmed. For that reason I realized that I need to depend on one of the resources and citation management systems. The one I'm using called EndNote, I think it's very common. I also like to share something with you. Uh, after this time, I wanted to see if 
I can share something to the scientific community or not yet. So I am willing to submit um, a paper to one of the conferences, which is uh, one of the important conferences in my topic called the European Conference of Information Literacy. It will be held in next October. And the deadline to submit the summary or abstract for my research, which I'd like to uh, present there, is the 1st of March. But I have a general view about one topic that I might take as a portion from my research and it will be with some ad adjustments able to be published or to be uh, viewed for people. So I just need to have uh, another eye on this uh, summary. I think I'm gonna send it to my supervisor and hopefully that I get an acceptance from the conference so I can provide you with further information about that in the next episode. So we come to the end of this video from my PhD journey. I hope you find it helpful somehow. Feel free if you have any question to leave a comment under this video or to communicate with me with the Twitter account or the other ways. Hopefully that we meet again. See you soon.